Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Today, today we're going to crack open over 70 new Hot Wheels. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Especially if you want to be entered into the giveaway at the end of this video. At the end of this video, I will tell you how to enter the giveaway to be entered into uh, getting 10 extra Hot Wheels that I bought. So when I bought all these, I ended up buying quite a few extra Hot Wheels. So at the end of this video, I'll tell you how to enter into the giveaway to uh, be entered in your chance to win uh, 10 random Hot Wheels. So uh, I'll pick three people at the end of the video. Uh, I'll pick them next week and one week from today so uh, I'll give people one week to watch the video and to enter into the giveaway now uh, let me uh, reposition the camera and we're gonna start cracking all these open all right let's get started now it took me a long time to organize all these get them all set up we're gonna start out with the neon speedster uh, the 2017 Nissan GTR R35 casting I do collect. These neon speeders seem pretty cool. Kind of dig them. And we'll have some Matchbox mixed in here. Next one's going to be a Matchbox Bugatti Devo. In red. This is going to be from the Matchbox 70 years. So they're older than Hot Wheels, I guess. Hot Wheels is like their 55th or 50, yeah, 55th, I think, right here, 55th. So the next one's going to be a 2018 Bugatti Devo. And this is another Matchbox 70th uh, Special Edition. I have no clue about these. There are, are other cars in the release. On the back, it does show other cards in the release. I'm going to have to go through these kind of quick, or we're going to be here all day long. The red Bugatti did not show any other cars, so I have no idea about what release this is. It does not say special edition or anything like the gray one here. We'll put them side by side, though. Next one we have is a custom 2001 Acura Integra. This is going to be the Hot Wheels 55th. And I think my silver one's going to be the, uh, my favorite one. Definitely like the flat black on these. Got another one from that same release. It's going to be the Porsche 993 GT2. The flat black. Don't care for the red interior they put on these, but... Next one is going to be a really awesome tuned. I wasn't going to collect these tuned, but then they started coming out with cars like this in it. With paint schemes like this. And we even get the hood. The hood, uh, whatever you want to call them. The cutouts in the hood. You don't even get that with the regular variation of this. 
Uh, this is definitely going to be a pretty long video, so. It's freaking awesome. Definitely happy to add it to the collection. Next one, we got a Honda Civic Custom. And uh, this is Hot Wheels Drag Strip. No idea where I'm going to fit all these cars all once I have them cracked open and loose. I mean, I'll have put them away and organize them into my jammers, of course, but just through the course of the video, I'm going to run out of room quick. Next one's going to be a Pagani Zonda R in blue. Then the next one's a McLaren F1 in orange. Definitely like the graphics on the wing. Even though these ones aren't screwed up, it looks scratched. That was obviously already like that. It's unfortunate. Always happy to add an F1 to the collection. And we got a Lotus, a, a mirror, uh, I don't know, Lotus something or the other. This is going to be in a pretty cool, like, burgundy, I don't know, it's in between burgundy and burnt orange. And we have a 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. And this one's going to be in like a dark green color. And we have the Mercedes Benz 300 SL in red. Nice front end and nice, nice front detail and rear detail on this. Really nice. And the next one's going to be an 84 Audi Sport Quattro. And next we have an 82 Toyota Subra. 1982 Subra. This one has one headlight up. Imagine that. It has a broken headlight, even the Hot Wheels. Then the next one is going to be a Mazda 70 or 787B. It looks like it's in a burgundy. Then we got a Volvo 850 stayed in black. Freaking awesome in black. That Mazda looks pretty freaking sweet. Then we have the 1986 Toyota van. Haven't 
been picking up this van not a big fan of it uh really got to cut back on the castings i do collect although for some reason i really enjoyed this variation of it i think it's because it's a pretty factory looking paint scheme on it And we have a Porsche 911 GT3 in red. And then we have the 1990 Honda Civic EF. Definitely a big favorite of people. This one is in red. And we got the BMW 507. It's also in red. And we got the Mitsubishi. Pajero Evolution in red. Well, that's quite a few red cars all right in a row. Oh, then we have a really nice Porsche 911 GT3 in black, and it looks to be like a satin black. Then we got a 1995 Mazda RX-7 in the Falcon Racing. This one's going to be blue and silver. Let's just look at the Porsche a little bit more. The paint definitely looks like it was put on quite thick. You can see some rippling, which is unfortunate. Might have to try and pick up another one. The roof looks to be gloss black. Maybe the spoiler too. And everything else is flat black. But the paint looks really, really bad on this. Unless they wanted it to look like it was rhino lined. Then we got the Batmobile. Michael Keaton variation. I uh, don't think I have one with the, uh, the orange stripes, I guess. But this is a casting I kind of collect. Always happy to pick up a Falcon racing car. Then one of my favorite new cars from Hot Wheels is a LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR version 2. Oh, need to take a breather after that. Holy crap. Check that baby out. All right, we're about through all the Euro cars and then we'll have uh, another handful. Maybe throughout all the American ones and stuff. Uh, I really don't have a clue. It's going to be hard to say. So next up, we got a 2017 Pagani Hira Roadster sure there will still be a few euros that are sprinkled through the other ones but after this stack of them here most are going to be american 2015 mazda mx5 miata in black like a flat black looks pretty cool
definitely running out of room. Then we have a Nissan Patrol Custom. Really freaking awesome looking one too. Really enjoy this little casting. We got a Fiat 500E, like a teal. A lot of these are cracking right open easily, which I appreciate. Man, that thing's pretty cool. Got twin turbo and the cutout in the hood. Pretty cool. We got a Renault Sport RS01. And it too is in red. We got a 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport in orange. Pretty cool looking car. I think this one might have had a super treasure hunt variation of it. Not sure. Comment down below if you know. But I think that had a super... This one might have had a super treasure hunt variation too. I think it did. Not sure. Comment down below if you know. Oh, and then we have a LB Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. Another one of my favorite castings from Hot Wheels. Just really happy they... They're doing uh, Liberty Walk graphics and body kits. Just really freaking awesome. Definitely one of my favorite castings of the year. Okay, well, it seems like an awful lot of Euro cars here, but we're going to start out with another Neon Speeder. And it's going to be the 2016 BMW. So these are from the Neon Speeders. Really like the flat black paint and the orange. Really like orange for some reason. And then uh, from Hot Wheels Ultra Hots, which is like a Target special release, we're going to have this Porsche 934.5. Like a burn orange. Really freaking awesome looking color. And then I only bought the next one because of the paint scheme on it. So I do collect this paint scheme from Hot Wheels. This is, I think, the fifth or... Yeah, I think it's a... Yep, it's a fifth release in this paint scheme now. So it started on the Hot Wheels 50th. Nice, we get front end detail. And we get a little bit of rear detail. Plastic base, plastic tires, but freaking awesome. That's just a really awesome paint scheme. I like the color of it and the graphics. Bummer that they're putting it on fantasy castings, but makes them look kind of cool. So I've been picking them up. The next one, we have a Nissan Patrol Custom in blue. You already seen this in like a tannish color. We got an Austin Martin Vantage GTE. 
in the golf racing. I guess we had another stack of Euro. I don't know how far down all these Euro ones go. Goes here, but can uh, might go down pretty far. Next, we have the 1973 Honda Civic Custom. It's going to be an orange, a black hood. And I'm like officially out of room now. Then we have the Toyota Land Cruiser 80. And it's going to be in like a gray. Do get front end detail. I like how the headlights are X'd out. Pretty cool. License plate says Honda. Oh, we got nice rear detail on it too. There we go. Nice. And we have a 1970 Honda N600 off-road. This is going to be from Matchbox. Casting I thought was pretty cool. Nice front-end detail. No rear detail. Got some side detail though. Then we have a 1962 Mercedes Benz. This is going to be uh, Matchbox 70th year special edition. And the next one we have is the Austin Martin Vantage GTE in the Golf Racing, but this one's going to be all blue instead of white. That's a really awesome looking car, too. Definitely a casting I'm probably going to collect. Yeah, I went ahead and... Decided I'm going to start cracking open more than one of the golf if I have them. Figure one, the heck not, for the golf racing display I have set up. They usually have more than one of the same vehicle at the racetrack, I'm thinking, like their backup car. Or, uh, I've seen them race like three of the same car in the same race before, too, so... Next one is going to be a Matchbox 70th, but it's going to be one of these, like, I don't know, short, flat, fat cards. I don't know. It's a little bit different than a normal one. Pretty cool card art there. These might have rubber tires. They're definitely in a different blister pack. And this is a 2020 Chevy Corvette. Definitely has an opening hood, if you want to call it a hood. And that's some pretty nice detail. Even says Corvette V8 or LS or something. Wow, that is really nice engine detail coming from a Matchbox. And disappoint, they got plastic tires. I don't know why you would do all that detail and then put plastic tires on it in a plastic base. But love the satin paint job on it. Really freaking awesome.
and the engine detail and the wheels aren't bad either. Alright. It's like first couple. This one's gonna be another ultra hot. This is gonna be the Nissan Fair Lady Z. Really like the paint jobs they do on these. Pretty cool looking. Then we have a Z Mac, 2023 Z Mac. It's going to be the 1990 Honda Civic EF. And then we have another Z Mac from 2023, number 004. It says right on it right there. And be the cool combi. We got the 1984 Mustang SVO from Hot Wheels, the 80s. Well, that's a pretty cool the 80s i didn't know they even had that now it looks like we're getting into some american releases i have the 1984 pontiac pontiac firebird next this is going to be a blue. Pretty awesome car to come right after the Mustang SVO. We got a 2008 Ford Focus next. And this one I don't care for the paint job but the Ford Focus is a casting I do collect so there there it is 68 Co Copo Camaro in the art cars uh, casting I do collect really don't care for this paint scheme on it but you know it's casting I collect so went ahead and picked it up and we have a Corvette C7 Z06 this is Really awesome paint scheme on this one. Really freaking awesome paint scheme. We have the 1987 Dodge D100. Another casting I do collect. Do not care for the wheels or the base on this. But the paint job looks pretty freaking awesome. Another stack. Next, we have a Dodge Challenger drift car in red. Then we have the 95 Jeep Cherokee, also in red. This is another new casting I really like. Awesome, awesome graphics on this. Then we have the 2006 Pontiac GTO. 
Once again, be from Hot Wheels drag strips. Definitely happy to see this casting back. We got the custom Ford Maverick next. Casting I do collect from Hot Wheels. Don't think they ever release this in America. Same with the Pontiac GTO. I think both of them were released in Australia, maybe. Correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. We got the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Yeah, pretty cool racing theme. And then we have the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. And I think I'm making pretty good time with these. I think I'm getting through them quicker than I thought. I was really shooting for a one hour video. And I think we're going to end up being pretty close to a one hour video. Or maybe even less. Next, we have a 1932 Ford. Pretty cool white paint scheme. Then a 1970 Chevelle SS wagon casting I do collect. This one is in all red with some black racing stripes. We have the Ford Shelby GT 350R in blue. Some gray racing stripes. We have a 1972 Stingray Corvette in gray. Awesome casting. Really enjoy it. Corvette looks pretty sweet. Got some rear detail. We got the Dodge Viper RT10. Somebody told me this was a new casting. They left it down in the comments. Sure looks like the original casting to me that they're remaking. And if you look on the bottom, that proves it. So this casting came out in 1992 or maybe it came out in 2016 Mattel hmm it looks like a 92 Dodge Viper then that says 2016 I have no idea now maybe it is a new one maybe they did change some things on it Really going to have to pay attention to my older ones. Let's see if I can notice a difference. This is headlights up. And the windshield is part of the headlights. Which is pretty cool. If you wanted to give this one power, powered or, or I mean uh, like light up headlights. It would be pretty easy I think. And next we have a Ford Escort RS2000. Then we have the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster in white.
Next, we have a Matchbox Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Comes in one of these little boxes, or the one I did came in a little box. Haven't saw these little boxes for quite some time. I forget where I picked this up at. It might have been Myers. I think had the boxes sitting out. Which Toys R Us used to, but ever since Toys R Us closed, I have not sawed the boxes anywhere. Then we have a pretty old one here. No idea where this came from. I think my sister gave it to me, actually. 2010 new models. And this is going to be a 1967 Chevelle SS396. In teal. We got another Hot Wheels 55. And this is going to be the Camaro. The 1967 Camaro. Casting I do collect. And then we have the 71 Dodge Demon from the Hot Wheels Ultra Hots, the Target releases. This one's going to be in a really cool pink. Then we're going to have, it looks like, three in a row from the Hot Wheels Custom Ford Bronco. Uh, this is Hot Wheels... I don't see a name anywhere. Off-road, we'll call it. Even though it doesn't say off-road. It's a number two out of five. Hmm. Freaking awesome paint on that one. Then we have the 2017 Ford F-150, same release. This is in a really cool green color. Once again, I do not care for any of the wheels, but the castings I do collect. Next, we have the Toyota off-road truck. Casting I do collect, just like the Ford Raptor. And the next we have a cool combi. This is from Hot Wheels Surf's Up. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the mountain of... Uh, mountain I have behind me. And next we have the cool combi. And then a second one. Same one. One to go in the jammer and one to go into the Moon Eyes collection. I know I try not to be a hoarder, but it's so freaking hard. Especially when they're only a dollar. You find castings you like. So the next one we have is going to be the 64 Corvette Stingray. It's going to be another Hot Wheels, looks like a Walmart release or something. And 
And then we have a Ford Focus RS, and this is going to be a neon speeder. Really like the paint job on this. Looks really freaking good. And next we have a SRT Viper GTS R. Another one from the Neon Speeders. I do like these neon paint jobs. They look pretty cool. We have a 1984 Corvette. That's another one from the Hot Wheels of the 80s. I swear I have one the same exact paint color scheme from back in like 1994. But uh, I'll find out when I go to put this one in the jammer. But they might have changed a little bit on it. We got a 1970s van, and this is from Hot Wheels Art Cars, but it is a casting I do collect. They did release it in this blue, and again in a white. And I thought this was black until I cracked it open. Then we have a 2018 Camaro SS. And we have a Honda S2000. And this is from the Neon Speeders. And this is probably my favorite one out of the Neon Speeders. This thing just looks freaking awesome. Casting I absolutely love from Hot Wheels. And it's so bright I can barely, bar barely even look at it. And next, we have a 1995 Mazda RX-7 Drift. This is also from the Neon Speeders. All right, now this is the last handful of cars. So, yep, 45 minutes. I think I did pretty good. Next, we have a Toyota 4Runner. This is going to be a matchbox. Going to be in burgundy. So, definitely a casting I had to pick up. Looks freaking awesome. And we have a Matt and Debbie Hayes 1988 Pro Street Thunderbird. I had a 1987 Ford Thunderbird, so I don't know. Kind of liked how this one was in pink. Went ahead and picked it up. Even though it's a casting, I passed up quite a few times. I don't know what compelled me to pick it up in this pink, but I did. Then we have a 1964 Chevy Chevelle SS from the Ultra Hots. Really cool paint job. And 
We got 2007 Ford Mustang in the Falcon Racing. This thing is freaking awesome. Pretty nice front end on there. And the very last one I have to show you. It's going to be this 1970 Datsun 510 Rally for Matchbox. This is on an enormous card. I don't know. It's supposed to look like the old release. This comes with the box, but also a blister. And we do have rubber tires on this one. So this is a premium. Freaking awesome detail. Got real riders, plastic base, full detail though. Look at that. That looks freaking awesome. All right. Now, to enter in the giveaway, I'm going to pick three winners. You have to comment down below to be entered in the giveaway. You have to be subscribed to my channel. That's Number one, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Number two, you have to comment down below. And you have to guess how many, how many Hot Wheels I cracked open in this video. Or how many die, 164th die cast cars. It doesn't matter what brand it is, but how many did I crack open? And that gets you entered just making a guess. If I have three people guess correctly, they will be the three winners. If I have two people guess correctly, there will be two winners. If I have one person guess correctly, there will be one winner. If there's four, five, six, seven, eight people that guess correctly, then I'm going to draw it, draw three uh, people to be the winner. If nobody guesses it right, then everybody that makes a guess will be entered in the giveaway. If two people, only two people get it right, then I'll still draw a random person from everybody else that's left. So, don't matter what, you're probably going to get a chance. I doubt three people are going to guess it right. Uh I counted them before the video, so I know exactly how many there were. So, if you guess down below, you're going to be entered in a giveaway. So, let me know down in the comments how many do you think I cracked open in this video. I'll show you the pile on the floor. That's a pretty big pile. So, make sure and hit the subscribe button, comment down below how many you think I cracked open. Let me know which one was your favorite. I, I'm kind of leaning towards that 510, even though I had quite a few favorites out of all these. But, as always, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.